How do you remove green screen from a clip in DaVinci Resolve 15? We are going to try it now. Let's go to the edit page and in the qualifier clips bin, you have a green screen here. You can click and drag and drop it on V2. It is on V2 because later on I'm going to take a background and put it on V1 and then, you know, composite together. I'm going to delete now the background and go back to the color page. And in here, I want to try to remove the green screen and see exactly how I can get it perfect. Now, first of all, this is secondary colors and you need to use the qualifier. You have several you can use, HSL, RGB, Luma Impossible and 3D. Don't jump directly and say 3D. 3D could be easy to use and will give you good results. But actually, you are removing a single color, which is the green here. You want to isolate the green and remove it completely. So HSL could be very useful. Let's try. I select the picker and make sure the highlight is off and pick a certain color. I'm going to get nearer to the subject as much as possible. I think I will come near to the hair. Just grab as much as I can. Okay, it's not moving. This is the color I got. If I go to the mat now, notice it has selected the green and it has deselected the subject. That's not exactly what we want. We want to select the green and remove it completely. So I will have to invert. Now let's go to our black and white. And by concept, we know that the white is what we have selected and the black is supposed to have become transparent. But actually, this is not happening in our output. This is because the output by default is set to composite. It will always composite whatever you have within the clip. You need to set a new output, which is an alpha output, meaning this output will make sure that whatever is transparent stays transparent on the output. To add an alpha output, it's very easy. You right click, it says add alpha output. The blue one here is your alpha output. And you notice you have the blue square here. So it just makes sense to link the blue square. We talked about it. This for effects and stories like this to the alpha output. Here you are. Click and drag. Pull it over here. Now we're getting some results, but we still have some green. Of course, we need to work on. Now, if you decide like, OK, I have the alpha output and that's what I want. I'm going to delete the upper one, the link. Now the whole work is gone. This is because though there are two outputs, they're going to composite and you're going to take the alpha and add it to the subject like in the qualification here and they will composite and you will have a single output this said let's start cleaning up our mat so i selected this green color and it's okay i like to try again okay maybe this is better try again over here it's pretty rough by the way i'm gonna go next to his hair we tried this then we are going to start cleaning the mat. I will clean the black. Now, if you clean the white, that's what's going to happen. It's going to increase on the borders. You see the borders here? So maybe we forget about cleaning the white for now. You can blur the radius. Notice how you are blurring the radius on the surrounding, something you don't want to do. You can shrink it in and out. I was going to shrink it in and see the effect. I don't want to eat the ears or something, okay, or take out the details. I think that will be cool. Let's come back to number two. And we have shrink here. And let's put two. It's working a bit. Now, we still have some colors here. How about if you add this color without doing a disaster? Okay, that worked fine. Not bad at all. Let's go now to the mat itself. I'm going to go back and clean up the white just a bit. And then go back to normal. I don't have any noise. It's working very fine. So the HSL qualifier can work from time to time on your videos and you can have good results. Let's go back to the timeline and take our background and then extend it. We go back to the color page. And of course, we want to work on the clip itself. So I'm going to select this clip over here. Go to the primary. Just try to give it more color, more vibrance if you like. Something like this to merge with the background. This looks nice. So we have done the green screen using HSL. So please, I beg you, do not disregard the qualifier HSL to remove green screen. Sometimes it's extremely useful. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to remove the same green screen with the 3D qualifier. And it's going to be fun. I'll see you then.